On last episode, I can't speak English. Jake, you're British. How is that even possible? Ah, uh, bloody hell if I know. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Jacob. He will fuck up all your dudes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Thanks for confirming that. Oh my god, this is- this is my favorite part of the Spider-Man trilogy. When Big ben, when Uncle Ben dies? Bone size, Randy! That's right. Uh, can't go anywhere else because I'm too big for that hole. That's what she said. Exactly. That's what he said. That, what she would say was oh. like, just jam it in there. What the? Can I please jump on that? Thank you. No, you're not allowed. This is America. I can do whatever I damn want to. Well, actually, you live in Florida, which is like the Wild West of America. It is kind of true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Remember, crime is illegal everywhere except for Florida. And if you and if you think that ain't right, you're probably right. Like, I, I should know. I lived in South Florida. You guys live in South Florida. Basically. Living in Florida is like living in one of the Purge movies, except it's not as obvious. Because how many headlines have you ever seen that says, Florida man does something really stupid? Every single Too day. Often. Yep. And I enjoy oh. the ever little shit out of them. They're my favorite part of the day. Like, like almost every single part of that is just... I was like, one, I was like, why are you living in Florida? Just for the news. The news sometimes just makes it worth living in Florida. Except for everything else. There's nothing else appealing about Florida. And people will say, oh, oh there's Disney World. Oh, that's what you can visit for that shit. Well, I mean, Florida residents get a discount. That's true. I think I forgot something. I don't- uh, one thing uh, that I just realized recently about living in Florida is that all of the seasons are merged together, therefore you have no sense of time. This is true. Do you know that you consider the wet season if it rains about three times in a- uh, three times a week? That's considered a wet season in Florida. Or just like, then is it- Dude, not even wet? that, like- Is it always wet season? Like, it, it's fucked up my childhood memories. That's how bad it got. I love my, I love the afternoon thunderstorms, actually, to tell you the truth. They're my favorite part of the day. Because I was like, good, I can take a nap. Like, with most people, they could probably tell you at least a month that something in their childhood happened. Me, I can't even tell you the year of some memories because oh. they all blended into each other. Oh, I'm playing as the girl. Shit, I can't tell because, you know, I'm black. Wait a minute, so what she had a cape? <laughs> yeah, she has a cape right now, and for... I, I don't know why either. Do you know why? No. It's because she's Wonder Woman. Uh, does that make sense, my, David? Is she Wonder Woman? I'll just say yes. I'll just say yes. D yeah, d just say yes. That makes being on this channel a hell of a lot easier. Jake should know he's been here since day three. Pretty much, uh, it's been like day three, huh? You, like, you barely made it into the founder circle. But now I fit. Okay. I think I'm- I, I think- 
I, if that was like, I don't think Nanai Tamari would be running efficiently if I wasn't here. Even if you weren't a founder, you're definitely one of the main guys now. I am vice captain. Yes. Get off, get off my boat, Scallywag. This that does have a nice ring to it. You're, you're the vice dictator, as you put it. Vice dictator is a good way of putting it. You call me dictator all the time, even though I give everyone surprising amount of freedoms. Dictator. The vice dictator. At least I'm not the main dictator. Because that makes a difference in me. You know what? That hurts my feelings. I'm gonna have to talk to Banana Croc about my feelings. Dictator. <laughs> Banana Gator, please! You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Nope, no idea. Uh, nope. David doesn't even know. That means no one knows. And I know a lot of things. At least some things. Alright, so... We're recording this after Momocon. And while I was at MobileCon, I ended up getting this thing called uh, Croco Nana. Okay. okay. And I like to call it Banana Gator because that's how I remember it. Uh, does that make sense to you? And it's one of the, one of the so most far? adorable things I've ever seen. And I'm going to send a picture of it to you guys right now. Well, actually, text it to me so I can so, so I can see him. It's gonna be in the Skype call. That means I'm gonna see after the recording is done. It, Dave's gonna see it now, at least. If I can open it. Wait, wait a minute. Why aren't they just? Why aren't they? Off? Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Yeah. Yeah, it does. They should be little death stars right now. So now when Jake calls me a dictator, I can just cry into this- I can just cry with this guy. <laughs> He's the only one who truly understands me. What- what the? They're all flowers, look, look at that. Flower. Mm -hmm. So stupid. I love this game. Oh shit, I just killed myself. Almost- yeah, almost as stupid as jumping first into lava. Hey, I wasn't head first, I was feet first. You know, Jake, you might want to use those long legs <coughs> to your advantage. You know, Jake, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. I is that even how the phrase goes? Yes. Yeah. No, wait, it's... Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Isn't that what you just said? Yeah. No, I, I said it the other way around. Uh, whatever. Sure, shame on you. Or is it shame on me this time? It's... I, I think... I think <laughs> we should all just be ashamed. You ever watch, uh, Soul Eater? I have not been able to watch it. You yeah, haven't seen. Oh well, yes, I do watch shit anime. So, there's a guy named. I think. Well, we don't know what gender it is because it actually never tells it which gender it is. So oh wait, are you talking about Krona. the the purple hair? Yeah, Krona. Okay. So, Krona, we don't know what gender it is, but he has a pretty rough childhood. His mother is a witch, and she uses him, as, or it, as a, pretty much a test of of just testing all of her uh, experiments on for the last It's an Apache helicopter. For pretty much since birth. And uh, so uh, Corona makes a poem. And the poem is so sad that... Everyone wishes they kills themselves. Like every single main character wants to kill oh, themselves. Oh, th this. Oh, so it's just like the show. Oh yes. Huh. It's actually pretty adorable. 
And he, then there's a guy named Sid, and now so, Sid is a zombie. So wait, everyone killing themselves is adorable? How dark is that episode? It's a little dark. But everyone just gets, so everyone just gets like in the corner and like, I should just kill myself. And then there's Sid. So they're recording. Oh no, that, you can't get as dark as that. So Sid, who's actually a zombie who was brought back to life, he says, I wish I was never brought back to life. Cause you know, he's a zombie. Hardy har har. Cool, I got true journey. Can you stop making those moaning and groanings, you pervert? No, keep doing Never. it. Never! Oh my god, you're a true channel! Bring around at the speed of sound. Oh. No one else could have seen this. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's just too fun. Look at the perverts! So close. Yes. I'm gonna mute the shit out of you later. <laughs> For reasons I think you understand. Uh, oh, okay. So that red brick right there lets us unlock uh, cheat codes. I don't know what they are. Even we can make this game look even weirder than it already does. Or do something really stupid, yes. Oh my god, we need to make this look as stupid as possible. Yeah, I have to find out what it is. It could actually be a really good one. I can get like double, like times two of uh, like uh, studs. I know because I have, I pretty much have all of them. I'm sorry, but Dan is all the stud I need. Yay! So close. That's seven. Damn you, David. <laughs> I'm thinking how many times I die. <laughs> Shit! It doesn't matter, I'll be always true Jedi, no matter how much I get, no matter how many times I kill myself. You say so as you begin to kill yourself? I swear, if you died again! I swear. If God could swear, I swear to him. How many times is that, David? Uh, around eight or nine. You were keeping time for it, now you don't even know? I'm so ashamed of you, David. I, I was really hoping that uh, you die uh, at the end of the bridge. Uh, actually, that would be kind of funny. Hey Jake, how how dare you succeed? All of our viewers are going to be so disappointed. I think... yeah, just be happy I'm not. What was that, David? Just uh, just be happy I'm not counting all the ones for the previous session. Uh, the previous sessions is like I don't know, like twelve or thirteen. Thirteen. I, that one because I had a lot of stupid shit in it. <laughs> Oh, you want to talk about stupid shit? <laughs> huh. What is this lead to? Use the force. Uh, at least to that. Whatever. Cool, power up. Now I'm invincible. Wait, who's got captured? Who is that? David, can you remember? 
Uh, Obi Wan. That's right. Obi Wan gets captured. I have no idea who you were talking about. He's just disguised so well. All oh, right, it, it could be Groucho Marx. She was so useless, she can't even kill that simple android. And she's supposed to be a strong female antagonist. Oh no, protagonist. Not antagonist. antagonist strong of... female antagonist. Yep, she's the bad guy. Plot twist. Actually, we're going up to my favorite da, 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 Character studs. Let's see what that does. It's where it places the studs you know with his characters. Do? Every Maybe time we'll Jake dies, we just should. Every time Jake dies, we just we should just play the credits of like one of the Star Wars prequels, like that directed by George Lucas. And that's where my story ends. Okay, there we go. The only part I ever liked about the trilogy of uh, prequels was uh, was uh. I what? Don't even know. Actually, the fight scenes were really cool. Yeah, I agree. I the fight scenes were. The better. prequels is how the lightsabers never actually hit the target. Everyone just conveniently dodges out of the way before they actually hit. Uh, let's see, what do I get? See, yeah, see, to Death Star, you see like little tiny Death Stars. Let's see. I'll, I'll buy this one. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I have a. Characters. I don't have enough. Oh no! Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Hey Jake, should, should we discuss how many hours you have on this game? Because we talked about it before we started recording, but... I have, I have 34 hours set in this game. 34 hours of... Pure Star Wars. Yeah. And you only got 11%? Oh no, my first one I have like... 80%. I'm pretty far my other one. I'm actually, I would have completed the game. I just been trying to uh, collect. It was originally I was trying to collect everything. I collected all the characters, pretty much almost every single thing. Episode 2, Jake fucks up again. I wonder who that is. I wonder who those guys are. Did you see, did you see the, uh, the 2D guys in the uh, stands? Yeah, that, that's why they're not entire that's why they're not blacked out oh my god I'm... i know who that is i that's the one character who i know who that is that's that's yes. samuel l jackson's character yes how can you tell because he's black no it's because of the purple lightsaber do you know how he got the purple lightsaber because he want to be that pimp purple no it's because he literally went up to george lucas and he said hey i want a purple lightsaber and then he's george done. lucas gave him a purple lightsaber now, if I'm right, he also had, uh, uh, etched in that says, uh, oh man, what what did he wrote down? Something motherfucker. Uh, probably just a word motherfucker then. That's his yeah. phrase. Yeah. Long story short, you just don't say no to Sam L. Jackson. He's like, listen to me here, you motherfucker. I, I swear, if he isn't in The Incredibles 2, I'm gonna lose my shit. Who does he- did he play Frozone in the original? Yeah, he, pl yeah. he played Frozone. Yeah, Frozone. Which I love Frozone. He, he's Frozone. the one who says, WHERE IS MY SUPER SUIT?! <laughs> because I didn't recognize him not yelling. Okay, the- His little Lego fig figurine really doesn't do him justice, cause- Just look at that profile of him! <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying he saying? looks like the derpiest Lego Star Wars character, and that's saying something. Well, oh, Granny, the way, is the Jake, only... you're not alone anymore. Samuel L. Jackson likes hentai as well. There's actually a speedrunner that I watch, uh, Trihex. That he's a uh, Yoshi, uh, Yoshi Island speedrunner. And That's why I haven't heard of him. Um, Trihex was actually pretty well known in like the speedrunner community at one point. 
So if you consider watching speedruns, you probably start with the highest power. But he uh he got he got sponsorship of uh, the hentai side. <laughs> nice! No kidding. Yeah, you, you got 100 percent sponsored. It was hilarious. 100 percent erect sponsorship. Erect. Like straight on, like boom. Boom maybe. We're talking big black hentai dicks. Because you know the Japanese really like their black <laughs> That along with tentacles. You know why they're actually tentacles, right? You know what, just for compensation's sake, no, I don't. Alright, so, uh, that's still like the funniest shit, too, for, uh, like, it's like, gross dumbass shit, too, for two reasons. So, the reason- Alright, everyone, cover your ears, Shake is about to go into total weeb territory. So, because the, because in Japan you have to censor the dicks, so they one guy, one genius and guy said, "What I was like, what happens if it's an octopus? Because you don't have to censor the tentacles because they're not dicks." <laughs> <laughs> that was his reason. Wait, is that seriously the reason why there's tentacle porn? Yes. I'm not 100% And story, then, but I'm just like. And I'm, then that guy realized that he found an entirely new market of degenerate. And Jake's included in that. It's so hard to tell who is who. Oh, cool. But uh, if I remember the story correctly, and that, that is why there is a sense of Because one guy, because one guy just genius, geniusly said, hey, Octopus don't have dicks on their tentacles, so let's do that. Speaking of hentai, I don't know if you heard this story, but there's this one, there's this like one really liberal reporter guy who apparently he was he was trying to show the internet that he was getting like anti-Semitic messages. And while he was taking a picture of the flyer, somebody noticed that one of the tabs in his browser was actually of hentai. Nice. So now, I, I forgot what his name is, it's Kurt Eichen something, but now he's known as like that one guy on the left who looks at tentacle porn. But that that's awesome. not even the best part. The best part is he tries to deny this by saying, Oh, well, my wife didn't think tentacle porn existed, so I had to go look it up. And every single explanation he gives only digs him deeper. That's and it got to the point where Tucker Carlson even did a bit on it. You really just passed him. Did I? Did I? Yes, you did. Right there. Oh, where? Oh, that's not red. Yeah, it's your right, Mark? Like your ball. <laughs> oh, right there. Thanks for covering the blind, David. Uh, You're welcome. Kurt Eichenwald. That's, that's the guy's name. I'm sending you his Know Your Meme page now. <laughs> oh my god, this. Jackson, you that sounds so non-threatening coming from you. Motherfucker. I'm gonna kick your ass, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Motherfucker, you're the one. You make Jedi's lots of fun. in the corner. Oh, you turned off the silhouettes! I just noticed that! Alright, fine, I'll put them back on. 
I had to turn them off because I had to find that one red android, and it's it's kind of impossible when everyone's looking the same. It's kind of like that one episode of Timmy Turner, when I mean, he's like, I wish everyone was the same. I don't remember that one. It's, it's pretty much uh, the dentist that it's you where, the dentist that it's where hates. Timmy it's where Timmy Turner gets harassed by dentists, and then he wishes everyone was the same so that they couldn't brag about being better, and then everyone gets turned into, like, a gray blob. Oh, okay, okay, I know which one you're talking about now. Yep, it's that dumbass episode. His, his father has that, That's not, that's not even the best episode, though. The best episode is where Timmy Turner goes back in time to prevent his dad from winning a trophy, and in the process, they end up switching Timmy's name with the internet. So they go back into the future, and Timmy's name is now Internet. <laughs> no, my favorite part during that whole entire sp spiel is, is when uh, he is a. Uh, if, if this is where this is where I would hang my trophy if I had one. Oh, the happy's back. Uh, that's that's literally my favorite part in that whole entire thing. Oh, we're only going on 26 minutes, so I'm going to stop the video here. Alright. Alright, I've been real just shaking with me, have been? Mm. Some motherfucker named that American Slacker. And another motherfucker named Death Ed. Thank you for watching, everyone.